Today, Thomas and I are on the driving range to show you why Mizuno added a high launch model into their JPX Iron Series. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel, you like the video, and you drop a comment and tell us what you think of the new JPX 923 Hot Metal High Launch Irons. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf, joined by Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. On the driving range today with two iron models, uh, both Mizuno, the new JPX 923 series, Thomas. Um, always an exciting time for us at Second Swing. Mizuno releases new irons. Uh, the JPX 923 models look fantastic. A uh, bunch of distance, forgiveness packed in there. But there's a wrinkle in there with this series, a new high launch model. So talk to me about that model. Um, you've got both the, or the, I guess, original hot metal in your hand and now the hot metal high launch. So You've got them both in your hand. How do they feel? How do they look? And what do you think is the reason for the high launch addition to the line? Well, first, I want to tell you how excited I am that Mizuno has added the HL yeah. to this to this lineup because as a club fitter, we have more options to fit our customers. Right. And this is a huge area because let's just face it, some of these game room irons, they get a little too strong and lofted mm -hmm. and they're hard to get the ball in the air, especially right. for golfers that don't swing quite as fast. Right. Not only is it a little extra loft on the golf club, it's a little larger, and the center of gravity's moved, moved around to get the ball to get up in the air. So mm -hmm. I want to test today how much difference the loft, but also the center of gravity makes between these two irons. Right, and so kind of really see, you know, how much does the high launch model, you know, launch the ball higher. Um, and so that high launch model's at 31 degrees, so it's kind of comparable to like the forged model that's been in the past series. Um, it's been kind of a player's distance model, but this has more of those game improvement properties um, you know, that the hot metal irons have had. And then you got the 28 and a half degree uh, hot metal iron. So two and a half degrees difference in loft. Um, that'll obviously play a huge part in it, but also curious to see too, just how the design of the head, that center of gravity dropped quite a bit low uh, in both of them really, really, you know, takes that ball, launches it high in the air, gives you some stopping power yep. as well. So I'm, ex I'm intrigued by that because I think this is a wrinkle that you don't see a ton from other manufacturers really. I know, you know, some manufacturers have like a retro spec where they can kind of obviously change that iron head itself and, you know, add loft to it. But having two separate models like this is, a, I think, a unique mo or a unique uh, strategy here for Mizuno. Yeah, and as a club fitter, I'm always tweaking the loft. So if a golfer comes in, they really fit into the hot metal or something, they just need a little extra spin, a little, little more height, we can order the irons one or two degrees weak. So that gives you that option. But, you know, Mizuno, they already have a club that's around about 31 degrees loft on it and that is the JPX Forged. Mm -hmm. And that's usually always, depending on what model you're looking, it's always around about 31 degrees. But it's such a different iron, it's smaller, it's not quite as forgiving. It's considered more of a player's distance iron. Now we've got another club with the same kind of loft, but it's designed differently. So yeah. stay tuned for that video as well, because yeah, exactly. I'm excited to test that. Yeah. But let's test these two. Let's hit some shots, we'll probably hit 10 shots with each one. Okay. And we'll just take a look at the numbers and just see what the advantages are of the hot metal and what the advantages are of the HL. Perfect. Well, we've got the Project X 5.5 shaft for you here. I'll give you that and you can right. uh, start putting them together. Sounds good. That one seemed like you took some off of that. Maybe not. A little heavy. Mm. Should spend a little less. Well, your, one, your smash was 147, 148, so. Yeah. No one near the middle. Not a good one. Yep. Thomas found a little rhythm here. Try not to, I'm trying to get it done fast, but I'm trying not to love New what's in the bag video in 2023, Thomas, JPX 923 hot metal irons. That one was hit well. Is it flying higher? Sure hope so. <laughs> 
Uh, by five feet. Yep. Okay. You're welcome. <laughs> Is that the perfect swing for what we were looking for? To try for? and get the average. Yeah, that was good. That was really good. <laughs> Worked out. 22 on that dynamic loft. All right, so Thomas, that was 10 shots each with the JPX 923 hot metal and hot metal high launch. Um, first, just hitting the, the shots, did you notice a difference just on the trajectory as you're hitting them? Yeah? Yeah, it looked higher. Yeah. It definitely looked a little little bit higher, not drastic, right. but maybe five or six feet yeah. is probably what mm -hmm. it looked like. Yeah. yeah, so I've got the numbers here, and I, I'm curious now as a, as a fitter, you know, because we were talking about in the beginning about how as a fitter, you really like the addition of this to the line. Yep. Uh, gives you more possibilities and um, you know can really help a lot of golfers. So what numbers or what like metrics would you sp specifically be looking at um, that would make a difference for you? I mean, we could roll through pretty much every single one that's up there on, yeah. on, on TrackMan. And I mean, first start with the club speed. If someone doesn't have enough club speed, a little more loft can help get the ball up in the air and get them stopping yeah. power. At the same time, I'm looking at ball speed. Anytime that you have less loft on a golf club, the ball speed is going to be faster. Yeah. So I mean, more loft, the ball speed is going to be a little slower. So I'm going to guess that was probably the case between those two. Yeah. So your club speed is almost the same on both, 82.8, 82.9. But you're right, the hot metal uh, was faster ball speed, 123.3 to 121.4. Yeah. So that's about two miles. Yeah. 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 It, 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 it's a difference there, right? Right. Yeah. And then the launch angle is yeah. probably going to be a little different because yep. of the loft on the golf club. Correct. Yeah. Yep. 16.1 launch uh, with the high launch and 14.8 with the standard hot metal. So, yep. so 1.3 degrees there. If a golfer comes in and they're delivering the golf club in a different profile than what we're used to, that's when we can play around the lofts on the irons right. to get them in the right profile. Mm -hmm. uh, I think another one here is going to be spin, right? There's yep. going to be a difference in spin because we've got two and a half different degrees difference in yep. loft between these two Yeah, clubs. so the hot metal was 54.88 on average. The hot metal high launch was 61.63. So give or take a little bit, but 700 RPM difference on average, yep. which is a comfortable amount, right? That's going to generate then a uh, difference in stopping power and distance and all that changes too. So your carry distance on average with the high launch was 173.2, with the hot metal is 179.7. So about six and a half yards uh, more at the hot metal. Yep. And then your total distance then was about a nine yard difference, 181 flat, 189.9 total. Yeah, so your ball data, you're talking about ball speed, you're talking about spin, you're talking about kind of launch angle and yeah. carry distance. I mean, that's going to be changed. But then as a club fitter, it's nice because we can really dive deeper into what's the landing angle like? Yeah. What's the height like? What's yeah. the dynamic loft like? I would guess the dynamic loft is two and a half degree difference here. If I was a robot, it'd be two and a half degrees different. Yeah. Now, I don't think I'm quite a robot, but I'm going to guess it's pretty close, right? Yeah, it's a two degree difference. Two degree so difference. 19.2 to 21.2. Yep. Um, landing angle was a two and a half degree difference, which is kind of cool. Uh, 43.8 yep. to 46.3 height, and like you mentioned, six feet of difference. Uh, so those numbers kind of equate to two degrees, well, two and a half degrees difference in loft. Um, but for you as a fitter with the player, you know, like we mentioned, those players that don't swing fast enough to get the ball in the air or they just swing in a way that launches the ball low. Yep. You have this high launch model here that can give you extra loft or you know increase a dynamic loft that you show at impact right you can increase your landing angle so it's instead of 43.8 it's 46.3 and you have plenty of power to stop the ball and not let it roll all the way off the green yeah and, and when we do our swing reports we always talk about who's what's this club for who's yep. the goal for who's this club for and here there's a difference we're talking about yep. the golfer that needs a little more stopping power or there's plenty of stopping power and maybe needs to bring it down a little bit right there's and we're talking about swinging at 83 miles an hour just just under, mm -hmm. and then we're talking about 700 RPM difference in spin, right? And then we're talking about six or seven yard difference in right. distance. So it's really what the golfer's looking for, and what we're working with the player to try and achieve. Right, and we should also note that these are both game improvement irons. So there's 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 different profiles within the game improvement category. There's players that might be a mid to high handicap that you know launch the ball too low and need that higher launch and that higher loft, and that's where the HL model comes in. There's also the player in that mid to high handicap range that 
hits the ball too high with too much spin and that's where the hot metal model can come into play so yep. that's what the difference that we're trying to show with these irons is and that's why we're you know excited about mizuno in adding this this high launch model into their line because as a fitter i like you've said it already a bunch of times like that gives you more options and uh, now when you're in the fitting bay with someone that fits one of these profiles, you have an option for them. Right. And as a customer, don't just come in and buy the clubs off the rack just because right. they're hot metal. There's three of them, right? They've yep. got the hot metal pro, mm -hmm. which we didn't hit because it's got the exact same loft yep. on as the hot metal. So we didn't really need to do it for this test. But now we've got the HL. Yep. It's got a couple degrees more loft on it. Depending on what kind of golfer you are, you're going to fit into one of these two different irons if you're looking for a little bit of game improvement. Right. Exactly. Exactly. So. You see it from the test today, golfers, the hot metal high launch and the hot metal, they uh, provide some similarities, right? Distance, forgiveness, they're both packed into this club, but the profiles are different. And so if you're curious about which one is right for you, make sure you schedule a fitting a second swing with an expert like Thomas, and we'll get you dialed in for the iron set that's right for your game. Uh, lastly, golfers, if you haven't yet, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, you like the video, you drop a comment, tell us your feedback on the new 923 irons from Mizuno. Thomas, thanks for joining today, providing your feedback. Uh, I think, like like we talked about, man, this uh, this hot metal high launch model is going to be a really big one here, I think, moving forward. Mm -hmm.